morning. Uh, I thought it was about time to do another video. So uh, here goes. I'm going to get this next train in to Leeds, then go on to Selby on the whole service and wrestle on another service beyond that, which is the first stop after Selby. So three trains, one stop on each train. Okay, Scarborough train's coming in now. Switch cameras. So this is the 12.03 from here. Unusual to have Scarborough as a destination from Cottingley, but it's a temporary timetable. Sunday, it's uh, as it was, just leaves Uddersfield. Anyway, 185101, so we'll get the front unit, nip it to Leeds with this one, and then get on the whole service in Leeds, because it starts in Leeds, there's that one. Right, just left Cottingley, nicely on time, 12.03, and we'll head to Leeds on this one, and then uh, Selby and Wrestle. Okay, let's do it. That bridge there is the old New Line flyover from years ago. I haven't filmed on this side, I don't think, have we? Gilded Road. This is a service to Scarborough. The next stop will be Leeds. So now you know. Cross over the Ring Road shortly. now and there's this rare crossover here that's still not been used for some time I don't know why not but use a platform 15 Just got off this one now, and let's head over to, uh, well it's this train here that we're on next, the whole train, because it starts here at Leeds. Right, so our next train, Scarborough train's just leaving. So this is our next one now, Hull. Just one stop to Selby, it doesn't stop at South Milford or anywhere else. Selby, Bruff and Hull only. Looks like we can get on it. Let's do just that, shall we?
go over the top of the uh, SNK line. Pontefract, Baghill, Sherburn, you know, York Sheffield line. I'm going to go back via York. As things stand at the moment. So this is the SNK just here now. South Junction to Mitler to Gascoigne Wood. There's obviously a curve on the opposite side from Milford, which is somewhere down there, other side of the trees. So this is where we're going to go back when we go back over, go back to Cottingley, back home after the walk. Single track lead at this end. This is Gascoigne Wood Junction now. There's a lot of stored wagons and stock here. The units over there earlier, more bit scrapped now. Then. Shadow of what it once was is this now. Coming up to Hamilton now. There's the footbridge over there on the East Coast Bay line, which is what we uh, sometimes go there. off to Hull that we have just used. So that one, as I said, that one doesn't stop at Wrestle or Howden, so we don't want that one any further. See, so crossing the swing bridge, which we will do very shortly ourselves. Main line days. Right, here's our next train. Local service to Hull from York. So I'll get this one just one stop to wrestle and have a walk on to Howden Town Centre and then up to Howden Stations for the train to 155346. Right, leaving Selby. Go over the swing bridge. On to wrestle. Used to be a toll on that road bridge over there, seven pence at one point. It's been scrapped years ago now. Not very far off Wrestle. One of the, I think, just two trains today stopping here. Now, I think we went down that way last time we got off this, uh, this station because it was fairly early. Oh, yeah, right. It's not wrestle tick because we have been here before. It's a fair while ago. But uh, anyway, we'll head on to Howden very shortly. I 
I bet you thought this was going to be a waste of time stopping here, didn't you? <laughs> yeah. yeah. It just goes to show, doesn't it? So, 155346 heads on to Hull. We're just, just, just clear of the level crossing and on the platform. Right, we'll be heading back from Howden this afternoon. Oh, a little bit late this afternoon. Right, let's make our way to Howden Town Centre. First of all, always oh, got step free access as this station. At least on this side it has. Now, I think we went down that way last time. But uh, I'm not too sure. What I want to do is to head this way this time. Could be down there actually. But Right, this is the way we're going to go. Yeah, it says it's got step free access, green tick station. come down here into these trees and we're heading this way it doesn't directly link to the A63 doesn't this path or dirt track or whatever the hell you want to call it but I think we are I think we're over the worst obviously not many people are walking this way Rather overgrown in places. Oh, look at that. Right where you can catch your foot in it. the worst bit is behind me now so feel where those guys are with the um, trucks whatever it is cable thing is oh dear oh this wind is just so so annoying sorry if it's making the sound bad right so straight down here now then left and right and then left onto the A63 That's the A63 up ahead where that truck is. We're going to walk through this village. I'm not sure what it is. But, uh... Oh, look at that nice garden. Someone's got a water feature there, haven't they? A little fountain. Flag is flying high and flapping the breeze. 
nice as a Union Jack. Very patriotic. Yep. Salute the Union Jack. Two miles to Howden. Suitable for HGV. We've got down that level. Yeah, we've been down to that level a bit low. Unsuitable for everything further back. <clears throat> it doesn't say, but this is a village of Nemozome. According to the map. Anyway, straight on to the end of here now. Straight down the A63 into Howden. like another path over there but that's the tickers right out of the way not, going down there. not in the time we've got oh, it says new so a little sign there, there. I wouldn't mind betting this was the A63 years ago. I mean, several years, probably decades ago. Makes sense to bypass it. You've got an HGV going through here. Behind us, right, this is the main A sixty three. So, obviously, that's looking towards Selby and Leeds. This is looking towards Hull. I won't film much along here now, it's been just a main road. Fork off to the left, uh, B1230, I think it is. So it's not far around this next corner. So I'll take that road and head into Hampton for a break. Right, this is where we're turning off now. back now and uh, there's some work going on here building some more houses so if we check this in another few months later in the year there might be some houses if we've come down this way again so we're entering Howden now because obviously these are obviously new houses fantastic lovely brick pattern yeah. anyway let's get into the town centre and have a cup of tea and a bite to eat. Now we're arriving in Howden. See the Minster. I think you can see this from the train actually. But we'll see when we get back to the station. So I'll go left here. See if we can find a Greg's or something like that. Tea room shut. See if we can find someone here. 
find where we get a cup of tea now. I'm gagging. Ah, there. We've had a few minutes now here by the Minster, a cup of tea and a sandwich, whatever. So we'll head back now to the train station, going through the Minster grounds. Right, okay, let's uh, head through the grounds of the Minster. If we can do this, we can. It's open anyway, so see if I can There's a lot of old gravestones here. It's just a shell, most of it. <coughs> well, this part is anyway. This should bring us round back to that other road where we were earlier. Mm. So sure we should walk over there now. But... Ah, this looks like the main entrance to the, or an entrance to the used part of the Minster. Now I'd imagine this is the main entrance here, yeah, yeah. how the Minster it is. <coughs> you won't be able to go in though. Aha, uh -huh. yeah. Right. So yeah. eroded from the weather over the years. Right, and it's not actually brought us to the road I expected, but uh, we better just check it before we head any further, I think. Right, we came down that way, so that's this butcher's shop we did. So let's see if there's anything worth having in this butcher's shop. Right, we're turning left just here now, I think. It should say railway station. <coughs> it's about a mile and a quarter, roughly. Station. It's the uh, B1228. And just at the end of the housing line of houses on Johnny is where the old Holland Barnsley railway crossed this road. I think it was a little crossing. Right, our train has left the hole. Right, I can just see the level crossing sign up ahead. So we've not got very far to go now. When we were here with the drone <coughs> um, earlier, not the very first time with the Typhoon H, that was a disaster. But uh, a bit more recently, there was a path that uh, didn't seem to fit on the with the map showed it just going diagonally straight to this road so in effect going off at 45 degrees from where we are sort of up here somewhere so I'll see what that looks like from this end because I say from the other end it just didn't seem to exist now that path is somewhere here now if we're taking the alignment that the map shows We're not going to do it because we just want the station straight ahead. It's somewhere over here now. No sign. No, oh, well, there's a sign. Look there. 
and it's just directly over there now right to where that tree is straight over you wouldn't know it though without that sign being there because we had to walk right alongside the trees that way like line the trees to get out we did we just did a short circular walk from Howden and back to Howden to Brind if I remember rightly anyway train station straight ahead now it's only just out of sight Right, see if the stop when light show bursts into action. There's a train due in about two or three minutes. I think the pub's on this side, isn't it? There was. It's a private house now, is that? It's not a pub anymore in the bars, well, it's quite shame. It's great to just get off here, dip in there for a pint, and then back on next trip. This is the village of North Howden, because that's what the station originally was, North Howden. It's all controlled by York. This is what was the barns wall. This is white building here. Come on. Should have burst into action before now. see anything it's a fairly straight line oh yeah there's something coming something coming down <coughs> oh there we are finally Right, it's coming through. I don't know why it's dawdling so much. It was sat at that signal for not how long. This is a track circuit failure somewhere. Around. It's a little bit late, but here's our next train to York. What? Oh, you mean the announcement? Oh, it's probably not. It might not be working. Announcements as they announced it. Yeah. So it looks like this is the same unit we did Selby to wrestle on, actually. I think it is, yeah. 346. It's been sat in hull for the best part of an hour. It's a lovely refurb again. Same one we're on earlier, isn't it? Right, let's sit here. Right, just leaving Howden. A few minutes late. Don't know why, but we are. Next stop, Selby now. Doesn't stop at Wrestle. And it's all stations to York.
her shortly now with that other video when we're doing to Brind. Somewhere down here. The village of Brind is just over there. Selby over the uh, swing bridge of course again Selby just just around the corner to the uh, yard. Right. So uh, next stop, Sherman Element now. Doncaster in the south, the old alignment East Coast Main Line. But that section's not so it's still in use as that section, although the section through Rickle and Essex closed in the 83. There's a curve now about to join in a few moments. Selby Canal curve has sporadic use. Last time we saw this curve, it had a fair shine on it. So let's see what it looks like now. Hmm. Reasonable, very reasonable. Something's using it. In fact, it's quite a good shine here, actually. We got that reel too, it was rusty as hell. Coming up to the East Coast Main Line again now. The original track layout for this railway was just down there and uh, obviously they moved it higher up to create a flyover for the East Coast Main Line because obviously putting a brand new railway in the early 80s they didn't want to have a Newark I'm sure most people will know what a Newark is exactly so the um, the original line now is taken by the curve here Gascoigne, Gascoigne Hamilton West to South Curve which is double track even though the other one over that side there, which you can't see now, is a single track. So yeah, and that's got about one, one train a week on it, except for diversions. A little bit waterlogged here, isn't it? Double ladder junction is this one, Hamilton West. We're now back onto the original alignment. Just passing Gascoigne Wood again now, and we're on the opposite side, so you can see a lot of defunct stock here now from East Midlands Railway. 
such a crying shame because it's probably perfectly usable after a bit of a clean. Looks like all the pacer units have gone. Compared to what it was about 25, 30 years ago or more, it's just disgraceful now. It's just ridiculous. See Gascoigne Wood signal box shortly. Then it is. I've crossed over the opposite track now, the down line, and then taking the curve. Now that's the curve the other way to head south, which will take you to Pontefract, Baghill, Monk Hill, and Wakefield, and whatever else, South Sheffield. The main line in the middle, straight to, uh, straight to Maplefield and Leeds which is our earlier route. So gas going one junction is a three-way junction. Right, we're coming up to the SK now. This is a double ladder junction as well, similar to Hamilton. So if you change here, you can get a Pontiac bag, it'll quite easy, but that's only when that service is running. Church Fenton now, which is where we were on Sunday, and uh, I will include uh, a short video next, which shows an unusual move at Church Fenton. Uh, I didn't really record in much of that day, but uh, I did when I saw that. So, just ahead now in the video is an unusual move at Church Fenton, and there it is. Some of us use it quite regular, that because it's good shine on it. Platform 3, wrong road, technically. Somebody's got a duvet there, look at it. Got a pillow. Yeah. Evening, we're at Church Fenton, and this is looking north. You might see that signal there clear very shortly, because there's a unusual movement going to happen at the moment here now it's not not very often because this is the train concerned hull to york and it's going to cross over on this rarely well not rarely but not all that often used crossover i've only ever seen freight do this before and even that one not very often so yeah it's hull to york service <coughs> trains next from the same platform the opposite way right not been a bad day a little afternoon walk wrestle to howden so this can play us out and then we'll uh, head home and we'll walk a bit that way so ticket machine's still not working again so yeah anyway not been a bad day we've done about five miles just over walking so uh time to say cue music and see you next video